Jason from Kerala. I am working as the Assistant Secretary of the Kurachundu Village Panjayat and I am the uh, member of Executive Committee of Sondra Marian Computing which is a language computing community and also a research scholar from Mahatma Gandhi University. So uh, I am telling about the mapping efforts we have done in our uh, in my village panjayat and here from <coughs> the village panjayats are constitutional bodies they have uh, they are local authorities having quasi judicial powers and they are the first respondents in case of uh, uh, disasters and they also have, are the uh, implementing agency of uh, different developmental projects and its own and of the state government and central government also. And uh, village panchayats have uh, a role in environmental uh, uh, conservation uh, uh, and there is a biodiversity management committee is working in the village panchayat uh, uh, according to the uh, Biological Diversity Act. And they are the uh, enforcement agencies of building rules in that area. <coughs> this is the uh, profile of my village panchayat. It lies in uh, Kojigo district uh, in Kerala and it has a population of uh, 17,331 uh, 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 persons and 13 wards and it has uh, three rev four revenue villages, uh, Kurachundu, Chakitapara, Kayana and Kantalat and it it contains a huge uh, part of uh, uh, Peronamuri range forest and Malabar wildlife sanctuary. And there are two, uh, uh, there are, uh, two projects, uh, Kutyadi hydroelectric project, and uh, there is an irrigation project also, Kutyadi irrigation project. <coughs> this is the location. And, uh, these are the four revenue villages. This is the Chakatapara village, Kurachundu village, Kantalad village, and Kayana village. This, this whole green area is the forest land, and there are several forest patches also, and all other areas are habit inhabited. We, uh, we have a lot of, I mean, uh, for, uh, 18, integral institutions under the village panchayat, the uh, 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 primary health centers, uh, Krishi Bhavan with Murray dispensary, etc. And we are uh, 107 staff uh, are working under the village panchayat. And our major areas of the village panchayat is to develop basic infrastructure, provide drinking water by implementing drinking water supply schemes, and providing, provide housing to the homeless. We we receive uh, different categories of funds from the government for these kind of activities, but they are not unconditional. Uh, they, they are tied with several conditions, and utilizing them are strictly controlled by the government, uh, uh, by the circulars, orders, guidelines, etc. So our responsibilities are to, uh, 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 to maintain the asset registers, which details the basic infrastructure, road network, and other public facilities all are uh, in the form of paper registers and we are the first respondents in case of any hazards and there are uh, in uh, uh, there uh, the village panchayats are the um, public other public uh, authorities uh, uh, to uh, to provide as much information so more to the public through various means of uh, communications including internet So the, uh, the government guidelines uh, says that to, uh, we have to use GIS uh, as in the uh, common guidelines for watershed development projects and in Sunset Adarsh Gram Yojana guidelines. We, use, use, we should use GIS for, uh, uh, for data uh, assembly or uh, data processing. But but village can, panchayats can't formulate GIS projects uh, in Kerala because two standing circulars uh, restrict that use of GIS. So, so we uh, we tried to uh, overcome this uh, this 
the situation by using an open geodata project. So uh, the Kurachundu uh, village panchayat and is the state of uh, the affairs as that no resource map or no cadastral map, no GIS. So, but it props up several instances to draw maps uh, like uh, when in the time of uh, war delimitation, etc. So there is a need of uh, baseline baseline geodata to empower the stakeholders. So uh, when we use uh, GIS, uh, it is easy to draw maps from the layers of the GIS, and uh, and uh, the uh, and OpenStreetMap provides uh, enough room for that. All we had was this thing. This was the approved ward map of the village panchayat. Uh, which was uh, 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 which was drawn during the 2011 elections. So our objective is that uh, to develop the different layers of village panchayat level open geodata with community participation and to suit the needs of slow motor dis dissemination of the spatial information, and to ensure the uh, the availability of the attribute data in lo local or regional language. So because of the, those restricting to uh, 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 restricting circulars, we our implementation strategy was that to don't formulate formulate or a formal project. So and to make use of the government circulars itself to draw any kind of map to enhance that level of existing uh, open geodata. So you, we, we used the existing open geodata platforms and uh, through the use of uh, 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 to involving the community volunteering to minimize expenses. The State Election Commission, uh, it, is, it is also a um, constitutional body and it, it's, uh, it realized that LSG local self-government institutions of Kerala has no systematically prepared base maps using useful for administrative scientific and academic purposes as an official document. So if there is, there is such a map that, that will be useful as a, ba a base document for future delimitation of parts for bifurcation of local self-government institutions. So our, sta our activities start like this. We started as, uh, we, we conducted a mapping party uh, uh, with 20 OSM GPS survey volunteers and seven field level resource persons who are uh, the, uh, the inhabitants of the village panchayat itself. Uh, the steering committee of the village panchayat took a resolution and to uh, conduct the map, uh, open street mapping party with the official partnership with the Sondra Malayam, Malayalam Computing and with the volunteers from Sondra Malayalam Computing and from the Mahatma Gandhi University and from the Wikimedians. <laughs> the field level with resource persons from where the village panchayats from. <laughs> Sondra Malayalam Computing uh, uh, has helped to mobilizing experts, volunteers and trainers and uh, done the technology and implementation part of this program. In field, uh, we used Android mobile phones with GPS reservers. Uh, three Android, uh, Android apps we used, GPS logger, keypad mapper, and o uh, OSM tracker. And at dusk, we used uh, JOSM, ID, and Microsoft Bing imagery. In field, uh, this is the area. Uh, we, we I already told that uh, we have large parts of uh, forest area. And this is GPS logger, keypad mapper, OSM tracker, and we used JOSM, and we used uh, uh, Malayalam attribute data. Before the mapping party, the area was like this. After the mapping party, the area was like this. And our physical achievement was to uh, was the ward boundaries of 2010 and place names, road network, polling booths, integral institutions, and other major institutions and places of worship. 
uh, we used this data uh, and uh, we used and processed this data in OSM uh, uh, in QGIS and composed the uh, composed the data in QGIS to create the map and finishing works we were done with the Inkscape. This was the boundary map we received from the survey department. Whatever we we uh, we mapped should include in this boundary. That was the condition, and we uh, we uh, have done this map like this. And the continuing work, our second phase was this: that we I already told that uh, we have four revenue villages and. Uh, the village reorganization is in progress, and it uh, that that means we we uh, we tried to uh, to join these village parts into one, and that uh, in this process, uh, the surveyors from Department of Survey and Land Records and Revenue Villages of Village Officers uh, were uh, were participated, and we conducted a joint field field verification and after the verification we uh, submitted the uh, the results in to the government through the taluk authorities and village panchayat received an accurate cadastral map uh, in this process this was the joint field verification with the village officers and surveyors and this is the draft village map which was drawn in list card And with this process, we uh, we could realize that the shape of the village panchayat is not this, but this. Okay. And and finally, in the in 2017, last year, the village uh, village is uh, the the government issued the final correction notification in the official gazette. Uh, 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 as the village, four village parts are joined together to form a single village. This is the Gazette notification. And the earlier, the, uh, the area of the village panchayat fi fixed at uh, 82.36 square kilometers. And, uh, and uh, it, uh, it, it is, now it is 82.36 square kilometers. Earlier it was 87.98 square kilometers okay. now the work done uh, work to be done it is uh, to map the assets natural resources need to be completed and the cadastral map to be georeferenced properly to as it uh, it would be perfectly get aligned with the collected map data and the uh, uh, and the complete cadastral data to be hosted with a custom web gis which is accessible to three, to, uh, through the web, and we felt this method of uh, method involving the stakeholder communities is the most cost-effective way to develop baseline geodata, uh, GIS uh, data of for a village panchayat, and people can directly download the data from uh, OpenStreetMap, and uh, it will encourage the encourage and empower the people to effectively involving in planning and administrative processes. Okay. Uh, That's all. Thank you. Any quick question? Uh, okay, we'll take one question. Uh, maybe you can, okay. you can Hello, just sir. catch him afterwards. Yeah, uh, really, uh, really good work. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, the GRs you said, were they restricting you from using OpenStreetMap or were they enabling you to use OpenStreetMap? No, uh, we, we can use the OpenStreetMap, but uh, the, the restriction is that the government, to, the government issued two, uh, two, uh, two uh, circulars that we should not uh, use any funds, any, any funds to, for GIS or GIS geomapping or a cadastral map, uh, something like that. So we can't actually spend money for that. But but we can uh, use the uh, use the uh, power of the volunteers. Okay. Thank you. Great. Uh, 